quick? All right, fantastic. So uh, we want this to be, um, like I mentioned earlier, a real role play type situation. So some of the ways, I'll, I'll just explain a little bit how the, the class is gonna flow today, is we want to try and stay in character as much as possible. So the panelists stay in character, uh, don't say, well, now I'll say this, then I'll say that. Just stay in character. And if you guys are role playing back and forth, stay in character also. And um, we need to have a balance to keep it real. So if you're the consumer or the client, then <laughs> be tough. Don't be too easy on these guys, but then don't be impossible. Be realistic. You know, and, and they're ready for that. Right? Um, so just be real. And, and they might choose to walk away from the business or not, but uh, let's make it real. Let's make it fun. Let's not make it too easy. Let's not make it impossible. And, uh, and have a good time. And at any time, I'll start with these guys. And at any time, when you guys can take over. Um, so we'll start right now. We'll go with, um, let's start with uh, FISBO or Expired. Does anybody want to play the, the consumer? Is anybody brave enough? You want me to do it first? Or you want to do it? Okay. Sure. So you want to do David Hill, all right. <laughs> so call her, she's a FISBO. Go. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is David Hill. I'm calling from Keller Williams Realty. How are you today? I'm well. I don't need a realtor. Okay, excellent. Um, I understand. I, I know you're selling your house yourself, and I just wanted to reach out to you because we do a lot of business in your area, and I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do to help. No. 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 I, I really need to save the money, and so I didn't want to engage okay. uh, an agent I really bought at the top of the market, and I really need to get a certain amount out. Okay, so you're looking to get a certain amount from the sale. I understand. How long have you been trying to sell? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks, okay. And how's that experience been going for you? Uh, it's hard with the kids on the weekend, but. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can, I can definitely see challenges <laughs> with real estate with kids. Um, is there a time frame? Like, had you kind of decided at some point you were going to maybe start talking to realtors or considering a, considering a realtor? Uh, I really haven't come to that point. Uh, my neighbor sold uh, okay. on her own, so I'm thinking that I could do the same. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, when did your neighbor sell? A year ago. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right, well, if I could actually, I know you're looking to get a certain amount of money out of it, so if, if I could show you how I could net you the same amount of money um, after our fee, would you be interested in talking about listing the house? And obviously it's gonna give you a lot more time to spend with your family, you don't have to deal with the kids on the weekend, everything else, you know, make life easier for you. I, um, maybe not right now, maybe in, a, maybe in a month from now. About a month from now, so you wanna give it a shot for about another month. Okay, that's fair. If it's okay, I'd like to get, some, get your information and I'm gonna send you my info. And then if you have any questions, you could certainly you know, um, call me. Otherwise, if it's okay, I'll probably check back with you next week just to see how things are going. Is that okay? You could, yeah. Perfect, have an excellent day. Thank you. Thanks. That's All right, good. good job. Okay, so, so I mean, the, the bottom line is I'm not gonna try to close. Someone, I think you said it, it's about really building rapport, especially with for sale by owners. So if she's really not ready yet, it's only been a couple weeks, there's no need for me to push and, and just, you know, the, the best thing to do in that case would be send her some info and then start a follow-up system. So what, what's your feeling on the time frame? You said if it's a couple of weeks, then you know there's true. Do, do you have a best bet for For sale by owners, typically you're gonna go um, 30 to 45, some maybe 60 days before they're really gonna consider using a realtor. So three weeks is borderline. I can tell by the way she was talking. She's starting to get a little irritated with it. It's getting you know a little you know tough on the weekends and everything else. So she's right there. So what I would have done is send you information and then follow up next week just to kind of see how your weekend went. Uh, within that, there is one thing that I I didn't bring up, but there I have gotten before, which is uh, I can put it on MLS, you know for like 500 or sure. whatever. I can put it on for a, you know, a nominal amount and then, you know, see if I can get something and, you know, if That's, not, I'll just hang. What do you say to that when they say I can do it for 500 and you um, put it on a lockbox and that, what's the difference? That's one of um, my personal biggest challenges right now where I've been prospecting for sale by owners for since I right. started. Um, and that's very common. So what I do is I, I have a, a, a document that's called uh, discount real estate 
versus full service real estate. So we actually offer give comparisons between the three, where if you sell a house yourself, the National Association of Realtors statistics say you typically end up with 8%, I'm sorry, with 14% less than if you use a full service real estate agent. Or if you use a discount real estate agent, it's typically 8% less than using a full, a full service real estate agent. So we have statistics, and it's something that we <coughs> typically want to talk to people about before they get into that situation. I like that. Does anybody else have a good in a response to that, um, the entry only objection? No? We send them. We send them something as well that you know shows a couple different graphs of, and also the time on the market is important as well. Mm -hmm. Where typically the, a full service real estate agent is going to sell you a home. Um, I think it was 90 days as opposed to 180 days for sale by owner, as opposed to you know right in the middle. <coughs> Being, which I call that discount real estate. That's that's what to me it's discount real estate. All right, John. One of the things you can say in regard to entry only listings is that um, there's a well known fact throughout the world and in a business, and that is this: third party negotiating saves you money. Professional companies and organizations do not have the presidents get in the room together and hash out the details when they're selling their companies. They hire attorneys and professional negotiators. Even our countries have professional negotiators that go and negotiate on behalf of uh, us in their pros. And so having a professional negotiator can totally back up what David said in regard to the statistics. And it also removes you know, that, that third party. Um, buyers, most buyers today are more comfortable dealing directly with their agent, their individual buyer agent, rather than going directly to a for sale by owner. So they're missing out on that huge pool of buyers. And by the way, those are the most serious buyers. Mm -hmm. So being an entry only listing uh, is not an advantage in that way that you're not going to save more money. Uh, a good close at the end when talking with a for sale by owner, you basically, based on the facts and, and uh, statistics mm. about what is real out there in the world for sale by owner versus a real estate agent, you have two choices. You can have me uh, list the property and do all the work and have you net X amount of dollars, or you can list the property, you do all the work and net the same or less. Which would you prefer? Should I get the sign in the yard now or should I wait till tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> and I think getting the nice. seller's experience level on how many homes they've sold got the numbers, you have the numbers to, to back it up in your experience in negotiating. Yeah, I've heard that script before. So, you know, yeah. how many how many homes have you sold? This is my first try. Well, you know what? It's probably not a good idea. We sold nine last week. Right. Yeah, sold nine last week. Plus, there's also a layer of liability, too, that uh, in general, the homeowner, yeah. uh, you know, they're real colleagues, but they're not telling anybody that you as the realtor are assuming that liability uh, for them and disclosing what you've come across uh, from what the seller has told you. Um, so I think that's an important fact, too, in, in trying to land up as well, too. That's what I was going to ask. Can you give, I mean, it's probably usually all about the money. That's the first and foremost thing, I'm sure. But sometimes I'll get into the amount of liability, the amount of disclosure forms, the amount of wearables forms. And uh, one person, I, I kind of do a little bit. Yeah, I would say if they do the attorney one, that's a tough one to combat. I would bring it back to to the bottom line price. You know, they're going to net more money. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep bringing money. it back to that because that that will always trump liability in those cases. I uh, just want to ask David Hill. Um, you talked about a fourteen percent uh, less uh, discount versus full service. Where would if someone asked for backup for that statistic or evidence of that, where would you get that statistic? The National Association of Realtors, you go to their website okay. and there's, there's numbers. I don't know if 14, it might actually be 16 well, now. Whatever the numbers, where would you get the backup statistic? It's uh, NAR, NAR, NAR has NAR their website org. that's for us. Yeah, that's just the org. Okay. And, and I believe NAR. Massachusetts it is or of Realtors yeah. has yeah. some packets on there also. Massachusetts one. Well. MAR, MAR Realtor. Org. Yeah. Uh, there's an internal thing you can log in using your national number, mm -hmm. okay. and there's some stuff in there that's handout based that we can give out to consumers. Is there a question? Just a quick side question. I know a lot of the for sale by.